Fearlessness isn't a single action, but it's a lifestyle. So let's freaking go. The incredibly based Hollywood actress Dre DeMatteo has an absolutely brutal message for Hollywood in the scorched earth complete takedown of Hollywood and Hollywood celebrities such as George Clooney, Meryl Streep, and the rest of these cabal actors out there who are supporting Biden and Kamala no matter what and just helping issue on the complete destruction of America, which is exactly what they want because they want to be in total power and they do not want you to have any power whatsoever. So Dre DeMatteo, of course, is famous for being in uh, incredible shows such as The Sopranos. And so she has this absolutely brutal message for Hollywood today that we're going to be reacting to. So let's go ahead and get right into this and see what is going on. She has a hot take on politics in Hollywood. She says that celebrities are terrified to speak out against the left. Joining us now is Soprano star and ultra free apparel founder. And I will say this, Dre DeMatteo has been one of the very few actresses out there who has had the guts and the spine to stand up to the Hollywood agenda. There are very few actors out there who are honestly as brave as Dre DeMatteo has been in the past. Founder, Dre DeMatteo, great to have you on with us today. Thanks. You have spoken up as a conservative woman. You speak up, and even despite the fact that, you know, they come after you to a certain extent, um, a lot of people in Hollywood, like the George Clooney's of the world, they do have power, but other people have kind of shrunken back, not wanting to be vocal. Talk to me a little bit about what the climate is like right now. Yeah, I mean, I get a, I'm, first of all, I'm still a super liberal, so I feel like it's time for us all to come together. Mm. Um, but a lot of people on the left are afraid. She says she's a super liberal, but she is a Trump supporter. That voice is... But listen, I mean, George Clooney, Meryl Streep, all of these huge celebrities endorsing war, um, supporting Dick Cheney's. And I, I don't understand the, the inversion and how people have flipped unless they're under the gun, so to speak, or that they really understand what's going on. I, I find it hard to believe that people like George Clooney or... Meryl Streep don't actually know what's going on. Because what we are dealing with, and I can explain it very simply for people like Dre DeMatteo and everyone out there, what we are dealing with with this election, and especially with Trump, the Trump era that we have in America right now, we are not dealing with a situation where we have simply Republicans versus Democrats. We are literally dealing with a situation where you have the deep state, where you have the system that has the stranglehold on the American people versus Trump. And the, the system, the cabal, the deep state, they can't stand the fact that Trump is here to completely bring a wrecking ball to all of that. They absolutely despise Trump because of that. Well, and you've said they've just lost touch with what Americans care about. Is, is, has the gap widened over the years between Hollywood and what's happening in the rest of America? I think that Hollywood is meaningless in all of this. I think the American dream is on hold. I feel like Hollywood... Kamala herself said that the, the American dream does not exist under her and Biden. So there you go. <laughs> it is dead. The music industry is dead. Hmm. Nobody, there's no cultural artistic movement speaking out about this. You don't see fine art. There's usually protest art about wars and censorship. And we have, we're, we're, we're stagnant right now. And I find it interesting to see these celebrities that are endorsing um, a situation that is the antithesis of what they once stood for as celebrities, sort of, and freedom of everything, speech, art, right. integrity. They ha I, I question their integrity right now. What she says here about Hollywood is absolutely fantastic. What she says here about celebrities is awesome. I absolutely love it. And I think that her saying that Hollywood is meaningless is one of the best phrases that I have heard in a very long time. <laughs> 
Tim Burton's Beetlejuice sequel is set to have a massive opening weekend at the box office, nearly 36 years after we saw the original back in 1988. But one of the stars of Beetlejuice is turning some heads with some comments she made in an interview just the other day, and that is Jenna Ortega. Now, Jenna Ortega obviously has become a very hot name in Hollywood following the massive success she had for Netflix with Wednesday, and of course, now taking on one of the lead roles in Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice, with Michael Keaton returning, with Winona Ryder returning, but it's what she said in an interview with MTV that has a lot of people saying, huh, you know what? That actually makes a lot of sense. I feel like we've been saying that for years and years and years. Jenna Ortega says women should have their own franchises. I don't want Jamie Bond. Now, this was in reference to the interviewer essentially brought up, hey, you know, you're working with Tim Burton now. What if he came to you with a, I don't know, Edwina Scissorhands movie or something like that? And Jenna Ortega fairly quickly shot this down and said something that is similar to what people have been saying is a problem in modern-day Hollywood right now. All too often, they're taking these IPs that might have a male lead or might have a male-dominated fan base, and they say, hey, you know what we should do with this? We should gender swap these roles. We should make it a woman. That's going to be amazing. Then we can attach that to an IP, have a strong, powerful lead character in that role, and everything will be perfectly fine. But more often than not, when we see that strategy occur, it ends up in a colossal failure. Take 2016 Ghostbusters, the all-female Ghostbusters. That's a pretty good example, isn't it? But no, Jenna Ortega says, no, I don't think we need to be gender swapping these roles. I don't want a Jamie Bond. Just let women have their own thing. Let's listen to her response to this question right here. But like, where are we at in other things? Like Edward Sisterhands, for instance, he said... Just leave it alone. Yeah. Like, is, is, do we yeah. feel like that? Like, that's like, if he called you up tomorrow and said, you know what? Edith Scissorhands is calling to me. <laughs> Edith, <Jen. ask> <laughs> What would you say? No, oh, you know what good. I would say about that specifically as well? I love that there's a lot more female leads nowadays. I think that's so special, but we should have our own. I, I don't mm. like it when it's like a spinoff. Like, oh, yeah, I don't want to see like and then Jamie Bond. Yeah, you right, know, right, right, like, right, I want right. to see you just want like own. another yeah. badass. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah, something like that. Definitely, definitely leave it. And also, Definitely, definitely leave it. And you even heard Catherine O'Hara bring up, oh yeah, and we're just going to give him the role of the man. That'll work, like kind of sarcastically. Like this is, and it has been a problem for quite some time. You know, women have their own franchises. They have things that appeal to them. You, we saw that with the Barbie movie. I was telling people, I know a lot of people kind of in my sphere were shitting all over the Barbie movie. They thought it was going to be a failure. I said, no, I, I think this is going to appeal to women. It's made for women. It's not something that's made necessarily for me to enjoy. Enjoyed. I'm not the target demographic for Barbie. And it went on and became a massive, massive success. At the same time, when Oppenheimer, I'm not going to say that's like, oh, that was just made for men, but certainly men were far more interested in a story like that. It had a male-dominated audience. And at the same time Barbie was out, Oppenheimer nearly made a billion dollars at the box office. It's okay to have these things that are predominantly for men or predominantly for women. You don't have to continue to try to take these IPs and, hey, what if we put a woman in it? What if we make it a female lead? Hey, James Bond, why don't we make James Bond a girl? Wouldn't that be cool? No, it'd be retarded. For over a decade, Hollywood has been pushing this gender-swapped IP thing, and it really has not worked out very well for them. So it's good to see someone like Jenna Ortega, who honestly you know, probably disagrees with a lot of the things I think politically, but it's good to see somebody like that, especially a young actress in Hollywood, who's like, no, we don't need to be doing that. We don't need to be gender-swapping these roles. Let's just make things for women or use existing IPs or maybe create another character that's not attached to all of these things. Because quite frankly... It's just stupid.